What's happening everybody, I'm Nurka Kaz, and welcome back to another Vinyl Record Collection video, and before we get into this video, I just want to give the biggest, colossal, biggest shout out in the whole wide world to my buddy Sean over at the Albertson Vinyl, located here in my hometown of Ottawa, Kansas, actually right down the street from me, hell yeah, nothing better than having an awesome record store right down the street from me, that's like, it's like dreamland, but my current bad religion, my favorite band of all time, this current Vinyl record collection that I have in front of me would not be possible without the Ampersand Vinyl. Because Sean, my good buddy, he struck me the deal of a lifetime. Now, I don't have all 17 of the releases, but I'm getting there. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I have. So, without further ado, yahey! The first record that I got actually isn't from the Ampersand Vinyl. But, so, if you recall a long time ago, I made a video called my original record collection showing my records from 2011 to 2015, which I almost had all the Battle of Legend records until some asshole broke into my basement where I used to live on the north side and stole my records. Well, in my original record collection, Recipe for Hate, Battle of Legend's 1993 release on Epitaph was my very first record. No, this is not the one I had back then, but... In 2016, when I started purchasing records again, I figured, what a better record to start my bad religion, my new bad religion collection with than Recipe for Hate. I'm not gonna go into reviewing it all, but I uh, the mayor made the original, the first Recipe for Hate that I owned. It was actually an original pressing. I got it off Discogs for nine dollars. Can't beat that. I had the inserts and all that good stuff. This one's obviously a reissue. But it's a special reissue, as you can see there, there's a sticker right there. You know why this is a special reissue? I'll show you why. For one, here's the insert, as in the original, and the lyric sheet on the back. But that's not what is so special about this reissue. No, 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 no. What is so special about it is the record itself. Because, you know, yeah, boy, look at that. It's beautiful, brown, translucent, see-through. Yeah, I spent around thirty-five dollars on this back in two thousand and eighteen. I bought it off Discogs. I was gonna buy just, you know, a twenty-five dollar recipe for hate, and then I was going to buy the original pressing that was about sixty. But I was thinking, you know, uh, brown translucent recipe for hate, copyright pressed. You know, that sounds pretty nice. That's that's pretty fancy, and. Since this was the very first Bad Religion vinyl record that I ever bought, ever had in my original collection, I figured I'd start it out that way, but instead of going with an original, I felt like I'd go with a colored record, because I've never had a colored Bad Religion record before until now. So, Bad Religion, Recipe for Hate, which, <laughs> which Bad Religion record's my favorite? Don't ask me that question, it's hard. <laughs> but anyway, next up, which this I obviously got from Amperson Vinyl, Descent of Man. 2010. Yes, this album is fucking amazing. The easier stall down to I won't say anything. I, went, I can't deny it, but I won't say anything. Yeah, open this up. Which I do want to give compliments here. The Emerson vinyl takes really good care of records, so if you ever. Oh shit, look at that! I got a CD in there! I literally just picked this up from him. Like, not even 10 minutes ago, I got a CD in there. Thank you for the CD. It's awesome as hell. Cool. I didn't even know that was in there. But this is the original sleeve for it, right? It's got the fossils on it and it's got the lyrics and all that. This is the original sleeve where the record goes in. However, the Amberson vinyl, they do you good. They do you real good. They put the record in this very comfortable, very protective uh, sleeve like this so that it doesn't get scratched up because, yes, although, you know, it's fine in this, this uh, paper does have the tendency to scratch the record up when you pull it in and out. So, Sean and Megan, you guys are awesome. You rock the world. They take care of records. The Amberson Vinyl definitely knows how to protect and preserve the records that they sell. And the CD, it's in mint condition. I don't even think it's been played. But that's pretty cool. Gives me something to listen to in the car or in the stereo down there. Pretty awesome. I don't really buy CDs that often, so it's kind of cool that I have a Bad Religion CD now. I used to actually have all of their CDs at one point when I was a kid, but I uh, I stopped. I think I actually sold them all because I, I don't care for CDs. CDs just don't have that crisp, warm vinyl record sound that vinyl records do. 
I don't really want to get into a debate with the CD junkies, but you know, what it is. Putting it back in the case in here. I actually kind of remember when I got True North originally, it came with the CD. I do remember that. Epitaph is pretty good about giving you a record and a CD when you buy something. But they did not do that with, uh, you know, a different reason, which I'll show you that in a little bit. Yeah, this is a uh, Descent of Man. There's the back over there. I think one of my favorite songs on this is The Devil in Stitches. The Devil in Stitches only has his fun when performing for the Chosen One. It's a pretty sick line. <laughs> oh yeah, there's this end of man. Next up we have There's No Substance with the badass background on there and pull it out of the sleeve real quickly. And No Substance. Sexy lady on the cover. Big luscious breast, of course. Which, by the way, like uh, like probably many Bad Religion fans and their teams, when I was younger, I definitely did call the number on there. I've actually called that number a few times in life. And occasionally I would end up getting somebody who actually knew who Bad Religion was, but most of the time I just got hung up on. I think it's like a gardening, uh, some sort of garden place, I don't know. But let's see, we got on the sleep here. Help me to help you. Uh, TV there, and on the back we have the lyrics, nice, original sleeve as you can see here obviously, however, like with the other one, Emerson Vinyl puts it in this protective case to make sure the vinyl doesn't get scratched, the very smooth, very soft, very delicate case to really help the record stay in near mint condition, which is, uh, which is what they sold it as, near mint, Emerson Vinyl for the most part, unless they buy something that's, you know, Unless they buy a beaten up, if, if, uh, and Sean and Megan, from what I know of them, because I've got quite a few of their, of their records, they don't sell shit condition. No, they, they, they don't do that. Like, you know how some record stores will sell you shit condition? Most of what I see that they have is really top quality condition, because they know how to clean records, they know how to take care of them, you know. I just, I just love Amazon Vinyl. They help me get all the records of my favorite band, but yeah, it's no substance. Damn good, damn good, damn good. Next up, my friends, next up, my friends, we have the process of belief. I think my camera is starting to um, foam a little bit because I got it wet earlier, so I hope you can still see me. But now we have the process of belief. Let me just hit that out of there real quickly. We've got a few more to go through. But process of belief, 2002. It's a gatefold, actually. Here's the inside of it, as you can see there. Nice. It's got a bunch of symbols on it. When, um... I'm not going to actually pull out the record of this one, because you've already pretty much, you pretty much have an idea of what, of what it's going to look like. It's going to be in a protective case, like the other ones. But here's the liner. What the hell? Oh! So yeah, this one here. It's actually in the... It's in the sleeve, in the protective sleeve. Pretty cool, that is. A lot of, uh, either pills, pills or something like that on the cover there. Nice. There's a, there's a flea on the back. I'll do an actual review of that later on. But, um, here we go, put this back in there. When I actually bought this, I thought this originally, I thought it was at first a double LP because it's a gatefold, but no, it's not a double LP at all, it's just a, it's just a gatefold. It's a pretty good gatefold, it's kind of heavy too. I mean, it's a record 180 gram, it's a very, uh, not lush, I don't know why I wanted to say lush for. Record's not lush, it's, um, durable. It's, a uh, quality. I mean, it's from Epitaph. Epitaph has the money to make good records. Damn right they do. Next up we have the Grey Race. So, for those of you that don't know me, or for those of you that do know me, you might know that my grandfather who practically raised me, he passed away in 2016. And when my grandfather passed away, this album came heavily into play in my life because of the song Pity the Dead. I, the night he passed away, June 1st, 2016, I blasted the hell out of the, out of the Pity the Dead. Oh god. Baby's looking right at me. <laughs> That's a bit bold, isn't it? Then here's the band on the back there. But yeah. Like I said, I'm not doing a review of all these right now. Obviously, I'm just showing them off to you. 
and my I'm looking at my camera and it's kind of turning colors that's because I was filming in the rain earlier probably shouldn't have done that but you know what it's not too bad it's just a little faded it'll dry I'm trying not to maybe I can get it back in maybe there we go All right. yeah there's the gray race on the front and back I've always liked that color I'll review all these later. I promise you, everyone. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. There's that. Next up is uh, 30 Years Live. This was actually the first Bad Religion record that I got from the Epperson Vinyl. This is the very first one that I got. 30 Years Live, as you can see there. There was no insert in there. Well, okay, there is an insert. There's an insert, it's just the. Uh, just a sleeve with the Bad Religion logo on the side there's black and white as you can see there wow it's really fading away isn't it I can see it is foaming up on there it is foaming the fuck up oh well as long as it doesn't disappear there's the track list to it fuck Armageddon this is hell definitely a, an amazing start to this record I'm trying to hurry before my camera goes black and white or does something strange like that. Oh man, they're falling off the fucking bed here. Oh man, I got some more. Next up is Drew North. Woohoo! 2013 was a good year for punk rock music, a good year for bad religion. Bad religion, Drew North. I just showed you the back of it. I remember when this came out. I mean, I remember when, when, when most of them came out, when I was old enough to remember, but I really remember when this one came out. There's the sleeve with all the lyrics on it, personnel, all that good stuff. And like with the previous two, previous all of them, when you buy a record from Amberson Vinyl, you get this badass uh, thing here to keep a pristine condition. Don't worry, we're almost finished because my camera is getting very, very angry with me. Oh no, it's getting very angry with me. It's saying, hey, I'm wet. Dry me off, boy! Don't worry. Yahoo! I'll do it. But I gotta show the rest of these records off. It's like a race against time. The foggy, I can literally see it's fogging up behind. Not the external lens. Let me see if I can maybe fix it this way. Let me grab a napkin. I'm gonna grab this Taco Bell napkin and just smudge, smudge, smudge. Did it work? Smudge, smudge, smudge. It worked a little bit. That'll buy me enough time to finish this video. Yeah, that's True North. True North is awesome, 2013. See, I've got, I've got a pretty adequate Bad Religion collection going here. True North. Point the North round. Hell yes. Top of the hat to you. Tip my hat to you in respect. Next up. Sorry about that. I had, had, a, had a knock on the door there. So next up we have Against the Green. Pull it out of the sleeve, obviously. Over here it's a bit less, well, it's a bit less fadey. This has a different texture to it. Feel that? Feel that? Yeah. This got a bit of a different texture to it than the other Bad Religion records. Ooh, I like that back there. It's really nice. Against the Green. I used to have a shirt with the Against the Green on it. This is a very good record. Very good record. I highly recommend it. Here's the insert. It's just simple. It's the grain poster. Got the band there. Lyrics. All your needs. All your do's. All your wants. The records in there, obviously. This is awesome. I'm nearing completion of the discography. Well, the studio album discography of my favorite band of all time, Bad Religion. Spectacular. I've always noticed with Against the Grain, other than like right here on the on the on the on the on the thing here, on the can you see that? Yeah, other than like right there. Like the rest of Bad Religion's albums it says Bad Religion like right here, you know, and then the name of the album. This one just has the grain on there, the corn. 
I've always found that to be interesting. This one doesn't say bad religion on it. It does. It's on the side. Next up, we have the new maps of hell. Hell yes, we do have the new maps of hell. It's a beautiful record. It depicts Los Angeles. This is a Los Angeles. This is a fucking good record right here. This came out in 2008. Since the original pressing too, for that matter. We got the band sitting there on the back. Fuck yeah. Very hardcore album. I oh, know it was 2007 actually. I lied to you all, it was 2007. Which, uh, yep. The neat little thing about this specific record is if you uh, get the get the uh, digital version, which has a which is the deluxe version. There's acoustic versions of these songs. There is the lyric sheet, the insert, and on the back is a bloody up bad religion logo with uh, personnel and information. All of these records pretty much have the same. Hey, it's not as foamy now. All of these records pretty much have the same premise going to them. They got, a, they got the insert here which has the lyrics and it's got all the stuff you need and it's got some pictures and shit on the other side of it. And oh, I want to show this off. This is kind of cool looking. Never actually seen this vinyl before. It's Satan. Look at that. Look at that Satan there. Yeah, Satan to the death. New maps of hell. I guess it would be, isn't it, wouldn't it? Interesting. I've never actually seen these before. Hmm. We'll go in more into depth about that later on. We will. But for right now, I'm gonna put it back. Because we've got one more record to show off, which I've already showed it off. But not in this video. I showed it off for another video. I'm so fucking exhausted. I'm running out of energy. <laughs> Ugh. Alrighty, just a random fact, the uh, deluxe version of this is red and white and black. This one's just black and white. They're both good. Damn good. Yeah, they're, they're sitting on Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard's pretty badass. Alright, punk rockers and punk rockets, are you ready for the grand finale? Although, my last video, you already saw this because I talked about it for a fucking hour. Dun, 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 dun. Bad Religion, The Age, I can't, of Unreason, wait no, this direction, there we go. Bad Religion, The Age of Unreason. Hell yes. The new record, the new awesome record, and I opened it greatly. Oops. I sliced it with my fingernail and I sliced it a little too much. As I said in my review video. Black chrome textured uh, track list on the back of it. Really nice. I like how they, how they went with this one. This record here has in fact a fucking poster in there. <laughs> if I can pull some of it out. This record's got a poster in it of our worthless fucking President Donald Trump and Michael Pence walking up. They look soulless, black and white, soulless, walking up the air, the stairway to probably Air Force One. And on the back of this poster, we have the lyrics. They have this comes with a poster. Now, obviously, you might say to yourself, "Well, the other records come with a poster. Where's the posters at?" The other records, although I got them in mint, are very good condition. They're not sealed, so someone had them before Sean did. And well, yeah, if I would have got them from Epitaph, then maybe I'd get a poster, but here is the Age of Unreason record. Got side one, and side two. Yeah! And obviously, since uh, this is from Epitaph, the record goes into this. Since the sleeve, so this side is just a thank you and all the personnel and all that stuff. The other side shows pictures of the band, all six members of the band, and Fucking god damn it, Greg. Or not Greg, Brett. I wish Mr. Brett would tour with the band more, but he's so busy with Epitaph these days. Like, god damn it. Tour, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, about dropped it. And obviously, inside of Age of Unreason, as I showed my review video, there's a reason 
It shows age of at the top. I don't fucking think it shows up there. It says age of but above the uh, above the circle prohibition logo. It says age of and then reason in there. So it's age of reason. Unreason. Anyway, yes, guys. I have just now shown to you my entire Bad Religions vinyl record collection at this point. I still have quite a few left to get, including one very expensive one to get, which we all know we, uh, all you Bad Religion fans out there know exactly which one I'm referring to when I say a very expensive one. And I'm not referring to Tested. I will go that one too, but I'm referring to Into the Unknown. Because it's the most expensive Bad Religion record because back in the day, that one almost costed the band their career. Well, as some people say, I love Into the Unknown, so fuck off. So if you don't like it, but yeah, this is a this is a pretty hefty stack of records right here. Pretty hefty stack of records. So we got one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, but yeah, nine, nine records. Freddie Bitchin, nine of seventeen. Which technically 30 years live is in a studio, so 8 of 17. Got 9 records to go. I think. 9 of 17. Something like that. <laughs> I can't do any math. Who the hell said I could do math? 8 plus. No, yeah, yeah, 9, nine, nine records to go. Something like that. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is my current Bad Religion Vinyl Record like Collection video. And sorry, my camera. A little fog there, it's just uh, how shit is, yeah. But thank you to the Amberson Vinyl, to my buddy Sean from the Amberson Vinyl for setting me up with such a good deal on these. Really appreciated. Bad Religion is like my favorite fucking band of all time. And uh, my next video on Bad Religion, which I'm gonna review all of the records at some point, but I hope soon to make a video called My Entire or My Complete Bad Religion Vinyl Record Collection because that would be fucking. Amazing. I'm at Arkikaza. Thank you so much for watching this, and Dos Padami.